Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and this is Matt and today we are doing a Clever, Clever or, or Never. Where we're testing a bunch of gadgets from Wish so that you can see if they're any good or not. Now normally as you'd know this would be Dave. I think this gadget is really good. But Dave actually has COVID. So in Australia if you have COVID you have to isolate in one room away from everyone else for 10 days. So he is physically fine has no symptoms anymore and is totally frustrated that he cannot leave the room and we keep just dropping things outside the door for him. So, sorry, it can't be Dave, but that means you get Matt and congratulations are in order because you just got your school results today and I did. you got into uni. I did get into uni. <laughs> well it's done. Thing. Let's get into this. So this first gadget, Matt, what do you think this is? I have no idea. It looks like you might inject it into the cake. Like it kind of <laughs> looks like a syringe. This is actually supposed to be for spraying the cake. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's give this thing a go. So, so I think you just pump it, just... but I'm really worried it's going to put purple coloring all over the kitchen. So I'm just going to go like that, just in case. Okay. Can you color the cake purple or could you have just put the food coloring into the buttercream? And so you had the purple cake to start with. It's not very accurate. No, it's okay. But it's not great. I'm yeah. going to give this one a never for me. I don't think I'll ever use it again. What would you say? I think it's a never as well. It's kind of bordering doing what it's supposed to do, but it does waste a lot. And looking at the cake, it's got to be a never. I think so too. For gadget number two, we have the... Potato Express. Which now, does what? You put the potatoes in the bag. I didn't get the potatoes off of Wish, just the bag. <laughs> and uh, you put them in, then put them in the microwave, and it's meant to make perfectly cooked potatoes. It says perfect results right here. And how so long does it take? Four minutes. For four for potatoes all at once. potatoes, yep. I'll be impressed if I see that. Yep. I have seen most of these gadgets that we've got from Wish on AliExpress. Yeah, I feel like I've seen a lot of the gadgets on AliExpress as well. So I think that Wish is just getting stuff drop shipped from AliExpress and adding a few dollars to each item, but who knows? There's a lot of do nots on this bag, like do not heat on high, do not heat for more than four minutes. It's been four minutes. On medium? Um, I think so. <laughs> I didn't really know how to change it, so I hope it was on medium. It was probably on high. Okay, four minutes on high. We broke one of the rules already. Are they done? Bag's pretty warm. They're warm, but they're definitely not cooked. That you feel. All right. Oh yeah, they're they're solid. Solid. All right, go chuck it back in the microwave. One extra minute. Are they done now? Ooh. Lots of steam. The bag's pretty wet as well. So that does feel like it could be cooked. Be on the al dente side. Do you have potatoes as al dente? I don't think you can have al dente <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> Maybe cut one in half so we can see. Ah, oh, it's still pretty hot on the outside as well. What do you think? Is it cooked all the way through? I'll hold it up to the camera. What do you guys think? It looks pretty cooked to me. My gadget is apparently supposed to melt cheese. In the microwave? No, itself with candles that it doesn't come with apparently. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to go nice. get candles. So it's uh, a cheese melting device that can't melt cheese. Let's hope I've got some tea, tea light candles in the house because the other rule in Australia is if someone in your house has COVID and they're isolating in one room, the rest of the household is also not allowed to leave the house. I've had all these phone calls going, it is unlawful for you to leave your home for yes. seven days. So yes. yeah, I can't go. So I'll go check if I have any tea light candles. If we do, we'll be cooking with candles. If not, we won't. I'll be back. Tea light candles. We are in business. All right, cheese All right. melting time. Gonna light those. Sure. Now, apparently for this, you're supposed to have a specific type of cheese. I think it's called raclette. Have you heard of that? No, I haven't heard of that. Neither had I. And we can't get it here. Well, I couldn't get it online anyway, and I can't leave the house. So that's the only option. But apparently it's very similar to this type of cheese, which is called... Uh, Le Gruyère. It's a type of Swiss cheese. 
and it is apparently designed for melting not so much for just eating how it is so you pop this on top yeah i think i'm gonna have to break it in half okay put that on top very cheesy pretty pungent cheese yeah. how long do you reckon it's gonna take quite a while there's only three little candles there so yeah it does look to to be melting a little bit on the sides already Here is the super slow cheese melter. These probably aren't hot anymore, yeah. They're pretty warm. They're, They're fairly warm still. You've got to allow more time for the... Oh. Wow, it all just came out in one thing. All just in one thing. Uh, that was pretty cool. I would never put that much cheese on something. It's like a blanket, a blanket of cheese. Pretty good. That is pretty good. For me, I kind of think it's cute and I think it melted the cheese beautifully, but... I honestly think I'll never use it again. So I'm gonna give it a never. What about you, Matt? Well, it didn't say express in the name like the Potato Express. So True. I think it has to be a clever for me because that cheese was really good. It was, it was beautifully done. So a clever for you, never for me. Let me know in the comments if it's a clever or never for you for each of the gadgets. <laughs> These patters on Wish, they don't look like anything particularly special. We'll dip them in the flour and cut and it seems to be a bit stuck on mine I probably needed some more flour uh, oh there it is <laughs> you launched that one <laughs> it's a bit misshapen traditionally when you're making donuts or normally you have a yeast dough which is a bit like a bread dough but a bit got a bit more sugar and stuff in it and you have to let that rise you have to knead it let it rise once which is what I'd already done then you cut out your shapes and then you leave it to rise again. So it's quite a lengthy process making donuts. So then the other option, if you don't want to do that, is to use the next gadget. Matt. Yes? You're up. What's the next gadget? I have no idea. What is the next gadget? <laughs> This is not going to work. Apparently, you can just make a thick pancake-like batter and put it in here and then fry it straight away. I think it's all just going to come out in one big blob and Lovely. become a bit of a fried pancake. All right, well, let's give it a go. Uh, here comes the, the pancake blob that I said. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a donut. It's a ball. I think you could have done that with the spoon. It's like a, a round little blob, and we did not need a gadget to make a round little blob. I did tell you that it was going to turn out as a round little blob. No, you said fried pancakes. This does not look like a fried pancake. <laughs> it, no, it doesn't look like either a fried pancake or a donut. And it's coming up at the bottom. Quick, stop it coming out. Ah, attach the fryer. Stop it coming uh, out the bottom. Uh, no, use the gadget to stop it coming oh. out the bottom, not your hand. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Can you squeeze it to stop it? There we go. We have a mess. <laughs> okay, try it now. Uh. And squeeze. Oh, I think that's too big a blob. I think you need just a tiny bit. No, this is not working. Are you sure it's not just meant to make blobs? No, it's supposed to make donuts. Are you sure? <laughs> Don't do any more. It's of definitely way. not meant to make donuts. There's no way that someone looked at this and went, ah, oh, yes, donut maker. Well, that tastes pretty good. But you made the batter and it's half fryer. It's nothing to do with the gadget. That's true. I don't think it's going to work. I think that is an epic failure of a, a, of a never. That is definitely a never. There is no way that you should ever use that. For the last gadget, we've got a Dolmade rolling thing, which uh, we make these at my work, but uh, we don't use a gadget there, just our hands. So we'll see how the gadget does. And do you use fresh leaves from the grapevine? No, we don't. We uh, get them from a can. It's a winery, so there'd be so many grape leaves there. Uh, we use, yeah, I don't know. 
Maybe because yours get sprayed. These have not been sprayed with anything. Mm. You know, put them in to some hot water for 10 minutes. So we're going to have a race. I still have never made these in my life before. So technically, I still think you'll win. But we'll try. We'll see if this makes it easy for a newbie like me to do it. And Matthew's going to do them by hand. All right. On your marks. Get set. Go. Go. He's already adding stuff. And I am just getting a spoonful and shoving it in there. I'm not shaping it or doing anything. Just shoving it. And then I'm going to push. And I'm stuck. Maybe I've added too much stuff. What have I done wrong? Did it work? Wow. <laughs> that works awesome. That's a clever. Yeah, definitely. Okay, just in case it was a fluke and I can't repeat. Let's see. Shove it there. Shove some stuff in there. Push it down into the little hole. Here we go. That is awesome. And they're all exactly the same shape uh -huh. and the same size. You might have to take this to work, man. Or they, we don't they're do not them on the menu anymore, anymore yeah. are they? Probably because they take so long to roll. Uh -huh. There we go. I kind of feel like a winery should have these because they have great glaze in them. Oh, I'm impressed. It works. A gadget that works. This is a winner. I've got four. Oh. Nah, I already had done one done. <laughs> you cheater. You had that. that was, oh, now, now it really is a race. Okay, here we go. Shoving it in. I might have put too much in this time. And I think I put too much in. But there it is. It's still there. Done for. Perfect. Finished. I was trying to go faster. Mine are not perfect. But I, I think this is most definitely a clever. That, yeah, definitely. That was awesome. The first one that you put through is surprising. Yep. Because it got a bit stuck as well. So I was like, oh, it's just going to mash it. And it then, was uh, really stuck. And I thought the leaf then, uh, was going to get ripped. But wow, yeah, I'm look impressed. At that. Now, if you've never had these before, you have to pack rolled. them all into a pan, add hot water, put a weight and a plate on top, and then simmer it up so that that rice and the meat can cook and... That's dinner. How that cool is that? That is awesome. Thank you so much, Matt, for filling in for Dave today. Let me know in the comments if you want Matt to be in more videos and congratulate him on his success in his schooling. Well done. Very impressed. And super glad we don't live in America so he's not moving out. He yeah. stays at home for uni. I'm Staying so glad because I would miss him if he moved out. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe and do all those things to let the algorithm know if you liked this video. With thanks to my patrons for your support every month, you guys mean so much to me and so much to the channel. Really appreciate it. Make it a great week and we'll see you next Friday. See ya.